Mayor de Blasio and Council Speaker Corey Johnson embarked on a magical mystery tour of self-congratulation for reaching an early budget deal that offered half-price metro cards for the poor and funds to build senior housing. I want to say a special strong thank you to Speaker Corey Johnson. Woo! But right after that, Johnson lowered the boom, saying that the federal government's scathing findings about how NYCHA was run, lying, cover-ups, training staff to lie to inspectors, call for a major house cleaning. Are you calling on the mayor or at least NYCHA to look at the people who were doing the cover-ups? I assume they're doing that. They and should are you be calling on them to fire them? If anyone is found breaking the law, they must be terminated. Immediately. No one can hold a job if they are endangering the life and safety of children of public housing residents. No one can be in that job. The council speaker grew up in public housing, so this is personal to him. He was especially upset about the fact that NYCHA officials lied about doing lead paint inspections and that NYCHA had internal guidelines that trained staff to cover up problems that could cause them to fail inspections rather than fix them. In the uh, complaint, there were page after page of incidents where they covered over um, repairs. Unacceptable. Instead, instead of making the repairs, they did things like shutting off the water so you won't see the leaks. Unacceptable. Cardboard that was painted over. Unacceptable. Asked for a response, the mayor's press secretary said those who are found to have failed to do their jobs will be held accountable. That process is ongoing. Asked for specifics, other than agency head Shola Olatoye, who resigned two months ago, I was told only that several people have left NYCHA and more are expected to follow. I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News. The council speaker pointed out that while Mayor de Blasio has presided over NYCHA for four and a half years, the cover-ups had been going on for a decade.